Vilnius is the capital and largest city of Lithuania, with a population of more than 600,000 inhabitants. Vilnius is situated in southeastern Lithuania and is the second largest city in the Baltic states. Vilnius UNESCO listed old town is one of the largest and best preserved medieval old towns in Central and Eastern Europe. Stay tuned to find more interesting things about the capital of Lithuania and what you should visit if you come here. But first, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell for more amazing videos. The climate of Vilnius is humid continental. Summer days are warm and sometimes hot, especially in July and August, with temperatures above 30 degrees Celsius throughout the day during periodic heat waves. Winters can be very cold, with temperatures rarely reaching above freezing, while temperatures below minus 25 degrees Celsius may occur in January and February. The magical old town of Vilnius holds many secrets and a long history. The cobblestone streets lead you on a romantic walk to the UNESCO World Heritage Site. But Vilnius has more tricks up its sleeve. One of the top European capitals with the best air quality, Vilnius is also on Europe's greenest capitals. It often seems like part of a huge lush forest. Vilnius is rapidly transforming, emerging as a modern European city. The majority of its historical buildings during the last 25 years had been renovated and a business and commercial area is being developed into the new city center that is expected to become the city's main administrative and business district on the north side of the Neris River. This area includes modern residential and retail space. Vilnius is situated at the confluence of the Vilnia and Neris rivers. The name of the city originates from the Vilnia River, from the Lithuanian for Ripple. The city was first mentioned in written sources in 1323 as Vilnia, when the letters of Grand Duke Gediminas were sent to German cities inviting Germans to settle in the capital city. Visible from multiple points across the city, Gediminas Castle Tower is the main symbol of Vilnius and a great place to start your tour of the city. Crowning Gediminas Hill, the castle offers the perfect spot to catch a panorama of Vilnius UNESCO listed old town. The first wooden fortifications were built by Gediminas, Grand Duke of Lithuania. The Cathedral Basilica of St. Stanislaus and St. Ladislaus is the main Roman Catholic Cathedral of Lithuania. It is situated in Vilnius Old Town, just off Cathedral Square. Dedicated to Saints Stanislaus and Ladislaus, the church is the heart of the Catholic spiritual life in Lithuania. Standing next to the city's defensive castle, the cathedral has survived the most celebrated and dramatic events in the history of Vilnius and Lithuania. 
The cathedral has been rebuilt several times over the centuries, attracting the talents of famous local and international architects and artists. The present building is in the classicism style, although its walls contain traces of Gothic, Renaissance and Baroque architecture. In front of the cathedral stands a 57 meters high bell tower. This distinctive structure is a popular draw for tourists who can climb its steps to access a panoramic view of the cathedral square. The Palace of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania, it was originally constructed in the 15th century for the rulers of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and the future kings of Poland. For four centuries, the palace was the political, administrative and cultural center of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth. It was demolished in 1801. Work on a new palace started in 2002 on the site of the original building and it took 16 years to complete it in 2018. St. Anne's Church is a Roman Catholic church in Vilnius Old Town, on the right bank of the Vilnia River, opened in 15,000. It is a prominent example of both flamboyant Gothic and Brick Gothic styles. The Vilnius Town Hall is another landmark building of Vilnius and is located in the square of the same name in the Old Town of Vilnius. The town hall in Vilnius was mentioned for the first time in 1432. Initially it was a Gothic style building and has since been reconstructed many times. The current Vilnius town hall was rebuilt in neoclassical style in 1799. The Gate of Down or Sharp Gate is a city gate and one of the most important religious, historical and cultural monuments of the city. Built between 1503 and 1522, as part of a defensive fortifications for the city of Vilnius, is a major site of Catholic pilgrimage in Lithuania. The Vilnius University, established in 1579, is the oldest university in the Baltic states and one of the oldest and most famous in Northern Europe. The university is very close to the Church of St. John's. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting places in Vilnius that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.